It's really cool because in addition to the private underwater cameras like the ones that we're using, there are hundreds of underwater cameras that governments have placed all along the sea floor. On top of that, you've got cameras all over the place that scientists like myself have placed down there on various expeditions and outings. And these cameras all are available for ordinary citizens to watch live feeds of what's going on in the depths of the ocean. Now these cameras are deployed at places like oil rigs, at uh, other scientific sites. There's a tremendous amount of information there that we've got to troll through. In the process, we've come across a key piece of evidence from a pretty unlikely source. We were psyched to find out about what a kid in Chile saw three years ago on uh, an underwater camera feed that he was busy monitoring. He witnessed something pretty extraordinary, and what he saw is kicking everything that we're doing in South Africa into high gear. Look, we all know that Megalodon doesn't exist today. There's absolutely no evidence to suggest that this animal could still be in our oceans. Press play. Okay, pause there. All right, zoom in. Once more, and to the right. I know it's kind of blurry, but look at that. Look at that, that that's a fin. As you can imagine, we were eager to determine the size of this thing. We were able to synchronized frames of video, which is a principle originally developed for aerial photography. We could then determine the lengths of the different body parts that we could see, and then off of that, we could get a solid estimate as to the total size of this animal. And our calculations put this creature at over 62 feet. I understand that this is very hard to believe, but only a hundred years ago, a megalodon tooth was discovered and accurately carbon dated to be 10,000 years old. Some may dispute the carbon dating, but if it's correct, that means megalodon survived long after it was thought to have gone extinct. And it may still be alive today.